What's going on YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, I love looking good and smelling great. And welcome back to another edition of My Two Cents Tuesday. If you've never seen a video or a segment of My Two Cent Tuesdays, what I do is I talk about a fragrance and I just give you guys my two cents on it. You've probably heard a lot about it already from other reviewers or from reading about it online. But of course, again, I just want to give you guys my two cents. So if you want to know what my two cents are on Percival, from Parfums de Marley, then keep it locked right here. Okay guys, welcome back and thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump in and talking a little bit about this fragrance from Parfums de Marley, Percival. Now, again, Percival is one of the latest releases from the Parfums de Marley lineup. This one came out around October of 2018. I've had it in my possession now for about three months and I've been wearing it. And I must say that I really, really, really enjoyed this release. Now, quick disclaimer. Uh, one of the first fragrances that really got me into uh, the fragrance game, one of the first fragrances that I bought multiple bottles of was Fabri and Fitch Fears. I absolutely love that fragrance, of course. If you've never been in the mall and you walk past an Abercrombie & Fitch store, then you probably know exactly what I'm talking about because they actually spray the store with Fears. And this fragrance does remind me a lot of that fragrance in the dry down. When you first spray this fragrance, you're hit with a blast of citrus. You get a great freshness from the bergamot and it plays very, very well with the mandarin in the opening of this fragrance. Now, after about five minutes or so, I start to detect the lavender note. And, you know, of course, lavender is one of those things that can really be make or break on a fragrance, but I really, really like the way that lavender is used in this fragrance because the lavender plays off very, very well with the mandarin. If you've ever seen uh, somebody dancing uh, with somebody and they're doing the tango, and you know just how it kind of plays how they play very well, their feet play very, very well off of one another. That's how the mandarin and the lavender kind of dance with one another in the heart of this fragrance. It's actually a very, very beautiful combination of notes. Also in the heart is you're joined by a very, very fresh and almost herbal type geranium in this fragrance and it helps to really keep the fragrance fresh for the life of the fragrance. Now on the base of this for me is really all about the woody elements of this fragrance and also the musk. Musk is one of those notes that's really, really used to attract people. And I definitely can say that they've done that to perfection in this fragrance because people absolutely go crazy when I wear this fragrance. It's a very, very highly complimented fragrance. Of course, there are a lot of people that are really into niche fragrances that didn't particularly care for this release because it wasn't really, uh, anything groundbreaking and it was one of those mass appealing fragrances but I think that it was a smart move by Parfum de Marley when they released this because they did have a lot of people asking for a little bit fresher fragrance. Um, if you know anything about the house most of, the, most of their fragrances are really really on the darker side so I think it was great for them to release a fragrance like this that was mass appealing that could be really be worn year round and that could really be a signature scent and they accomplished that because this is one of the most mass appealing fragrances that they released so far from the House of Parfums de Marley. As far as performance goes, this fragrance lasts for eight plus hours on my skin. This is one of the fragrances that you would choose because more than likely, you're gonna get compliments. I have not run across many people that did not like what this fragrance smells like. Now, of course, this fragrance goes for uh, retails for $2.95 for this size, then they have a smaller 75 milliliter for uh, $205, but you can find this on discount sites now. A lot of times you're looking at between $130 to $150 for it, so at that price, I think it's worth uh, picking it up, especially again, if you like fragrances like Mont Blanc Legend, or if you like uh, Fears by Abercrombie & Fitch, if you like those kind of fragrances, you'll probably like this, but this does have the Parfums de Marley DNA. So this fragrance does not smell exactly like those fragrances, but it will put you in the mindset 
of those fragrances. As far as when you can wear it, I already said this is a very versatile fragrance, so you can wear this really year round. Um, you can wear it spring, summer, fall, and winter. Is that versatile of a fragrance? And you can wear it for almost any occasion. So it definitely checks all the boxes as it relates to the versatility. All in all, guys, I think it was a great release from Parfums de Marley. It was something different. I think it was something that was needed by the house. And at the end of the day, it smells fantastic. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As I always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Now, why would you do that? Because I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And I love looking good and smelling amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.